We cannot walk alone, the preacher cried. And as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. America, we cannot turn back. Not with so much work to be done. Not with so many children to educate and so many veterans to care for. Not with an economy to fix and cities to rebuild and farms to save. Not with so many families to protect and so many lives to mend. America, we cannot turn back. With profound gratitude and great humility, I accept your nomination for presidency of the United States. I wish George Bush was running now, and uh, but you know we've we've got a choice between John McCain and, and Barack Obama, and uh, John McCain is no George George Bush, and and I don't believe that he is a uh, traditional conservative. McCain and Obama got some likes and dislikes, and at this point, you know, I'm just undecided. And how about you? Do you plan on supporting Senator Obama? No, I don't. Oh, let's see, no soliciting. Yes. I mean, with the economy the way it is right now, we really do need change. We gotta have some something. Less than a week remaining in the presidential race. He's trailing Barack Obama in the polls. Tara Merchner has the latest on the race for the White House from Washington. With just six days to go, Barack Obama isn't slowing down. Vicky, who's fed up with the rhetoric of the campaign, has one simple message for the candidates. I need coverage. I need medical coverage that I can afford. We had a roof over our head. We had food in our stomachs, clothes on our back. You know, we were living the American dream. And you know, that American dream was taken away from us. And uh, it can be taken away from you. I never thought I'd be homeless, no. Uh, maybe so. It is getting worse. There's gonna be more of us. There's gonna be a lot more people living on the streets just due to the economy. I'm extremely tired, I need a vacation, but you can't take a vacation when the markets are so volatile, your customers need you. It's tough to stay positive when you've been kind of getting clubbed to death, you know, day after day, month after month. My name is Stefan, um, I'm 34 years old, and I am about $84,000 in debt right now. My name is Diane McLeod. I was born and raised in Philadelphia. Right now I live in Croydon. And the debt I'm carrying all total is probably about $286,000. Give or take a dollar or two. The day the sheriff came, mm -hmm. it was early, thank the Lord. The neighborhood wasn't awake yet. He pulled up out front in the big blue wagon and got out of the car and handed us the papers. Just said these are from you know, the courts regarding your mortgage. So we signed. I was besides myself. I cried and cried and cried.
خاليه للجيش وخط بدني Iraq has been the most dangerous war in, in history for journalists, but I think it shows the value of what we're doing. Covering the news in hostile places is a worthwhile thing. It can bring about change, it can inform the world, and it is worth us risking our lives. I, I don't think I really quite grasped um, what I was getting myself into. It's that climate of fear that has just made Iraq such a miserable place for so many people. I think the experience of living and working in Baghdad for that time um, is always going to be with me there is a sense of the importance of human life and uh, human relationships that stays with you when you've been in, in a place where uh, human life is being lost so cheaply. Roadside bomb, um, actually at the center of the road, and that uh, hit the the Humvee from underneath. The, you know, doctors couldn't explain why I was alive. You know, they they don't understand how I, I lived through it. Uh, burnt down to the skull. I mean, I sh I shouldn't be here. You get broken dreams that you used to dream about doing, but other opportunities, other dreams come along. You could dream bigger. You could even have a better life after a tragedy like this.
I buried a matchstick. I buried frogs. I buried chickens. I buried dogs. I buried a mule. I buried the cow. And now, um, for 40 years, I've been burying humans. If you gotta die, and we all gotta die, it's me that you want to bury you. Everybody in Harlem knows that. I am the guy who puts the smile on your face. Other places, you just look dead. To know that we aren't completely forgotten, that we could have just a little help to let us stay in our home a little while longer. There will be, for a while, far more seniors than there are services and resources. T Tommy actually probably left me the Tommy that I had two years ago. Do I quit my job? Do I put him in a nursing home? husband built this room in only two days. It's under the Gedong Panjang Bridge. He was the one who stuck all these stickers here. He got the stickers from a scavenger who got them from a print shop. I like to keep things neat. Even though we live underneath a bridge, I still like us to have some decorations. There's five people sleeping in this small spot. You just squeeze the people in. We're all next to each other. When one person moves, all the others move as well. We have no other place.